Hello everyone, we will continue the topic background jobs and in the previous video, we studied how to debug a background job using the transaction code JDDG. Now, if I will go for the previous video, in the previous video, what we did, our batch job finished and after that, yes, we simply debugged that job with the help of transaction code JDPG. Now the question comes, yes, if the job is running, it means whatever the program is attached with that job, when the job is running, when the program is running, at that time, if we want to debug or if we want to capture that active job, how, how we can debug at that point of time. And yes, in real projects, many times, yes, we are unable to identify the reason why that error is if the job is finished at that time. Yes, we need to identify the error when the job is running, when the program is running. So our topic is how we can debug a active job or how we can capture a active job. See, in the real projects, we have the background jobs which run for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, one hour, five minutes. So in that case, it is very, very easy to capture the active job because your job is running for five minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour, one hour. But if you will talk about our current example, in our current example, what we are doing, we have a very, very small program in which we are fetching data from two tables and we are displaying the output. It is just taking a fraction of seconds. So we will not even able to see the active status. The status will be scheduled. Once we will release, if we will go for immediate, we are not even able to see the release status. We are directly able to see the finished status. Now the question comes, yes, how, how we can go for the debugging of the active job. If the job is running, how we can debug that active job. In the projects also, sometimes the job is taking very less time. So if you are not able to see the active status, how you can capture or how you can debug that active job. But yes, sometimes it is compulsory that when the job is running at that time, we need to debug so that we can identify the exact reason or exact error. So in this video, we will learn how to debug or capture a active job. Suppose in that case, what is the solution for the same? Suppose in this program, I'm writing do and end do statement. I'm writing do loop and end loop. Have you seen? It is a endless loop. I have not specified at what time it will come out from the loop. It means if it is a endless loop and I am attaching this program to background job it means background job will run, 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 run. It will be in the active state. This is the solution which we opt in projects also. Sometimes we need to capture or we need to debug the active job, but the job is taking only fractions of second. Then how we can debug or capture a active job? In that case, put a endless loop or go for any logic which will remain the job to remain active for few time, then you can simply, simply capture and debug. So I put a code in the program. Now I will go to SM36 transaction code. 
you all know you can define a background job through SM36. Suppose my background job name is BG job underscore set. Suppose I will take the job classification as a high priority. I will go for save. I will give the program name. Suppose I will choose the variant ORD2. I will go for save. Now I will go to back button. Now the status is scheduled. I can check through SM37. If I will go for SM37. BG job underscore seven. Now the status is scheduled. Now I will simply, simply click on to start condition. Suppose I will go for immediate itself. Do not forget to click on to save button. Yes, now the job is released. If I will go for refresh, now you can see the status of the job is active, active. After released, it is active. Till now in the previous videos, you are unable to see the active status because our program is very small. The job finished in a fraction of second and we are able to see the active. We are able to see the finished status at that point of time. Now we have put the endless loop. So it is in active state. Now many people think, can we debug the active job using JDBG? Suppose I am selecting and I will go for JDBG. It will clearly give me the error. It will say me, yes, your job is active. You cannot go for debugging using JDPG. So how, how you can capture or debug this active job? Just select and we have an option here, job, capture active job. Now it will automatically enter into debugging mode. Have you seen I'm at endless loop statement now I can simply, simply debug and identify why, why that error is triggering. Now you are at the endless loop. Now how you can go to next line of statement, you all know you have a shortcut shift plus F12 or go to statement. I can come to this statement. Now I can simply, simply debug why why that error is coming now the i'm able to go for debugging of each and every logic and now i'm executing now if i will refresh now you can see the job is finished as of now now it's a humble request to all of you those who are practicing this kind of scenario those who are putting endless loop in their code, it's a request to all of them. Yes, you should finish your job or do one thing at that point of time. Because just see, just, see, see, just think about a simple perspective. You put a endless loop in the code. You scheduled the job. See, the job is running, running, running. This job will run for 15, 20 days, one month, two month. And after one or two days itself, your system administrator will connect with you that you put too much load on the server. You put a high priority job. You put a endless loop in the code and your job is running, 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 running. So those who are doing it for practice purpose, it's a request to them. Please, please cross verify the status of your job. It should be finished or suppose if you do not want to finish, select your job and you will be able to see cancel active job. You can cancel the job. It's a request. Otherwise, you are putting 
unnecessary load to the system. So how you can finish the job wherever your endless loop is there. Yes, come to go to statement using shift plus F12. And anyways, you can do F8, you will come out and your job will be finished. Suppose you do not want to go by this way or uh, just select and just go for job and cancel the active job. It's a request. Just see your status should not be active for the job because unnecessary you are giving too much load to the system. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we studied if the job is running, if our program is running in the background, how, how we can capture or how we can debug a active job which is running. Previously, we studied how to debug a finished job. Now we need to learn how to debug or capture a active job. See, in the projects, if your job is running for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you will be able to see the active status. You can simply select and you can go for capture active job. So you will enter into debugging mode. But if your job is taking very small fraction of seconds, then in that case, you will not be able to see the active status. So what you can do in that case, what is the solution? Just go for a logic which will help to run the job for few time. Then you can simply, simply capture the active job. In our current scenario, we put a endless loop and our job is active and we simply capture the active job. At that time, JDBG did not work. But the most important point if you are putting endless loop or if you are going for a logic which will never, never come out from the job, your program is running, running. So please make sure your job will be finished or you can cancel your active job. It's a request. Yes. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.